Guys, in this video we're gonna unbox and have a little play with this tank that Banggood have sent me. By the way, I've got man flu, so if I'm not my usual self, then ah. So here's the box. It comes with suspension, real smoke, got a gun, it's got lights, the gun barrel moves up and down, and it's got sounds. And also, I've got the promotion version, which means it comes with metal tracks, metal gearbox, and I'm gonna show you more about them later. All right, let's crack it open. sure where you're supposed to pick it up from. I've never had one of these before. I've never even seen one. Oh, it's pretty heavy. All right, so I've got a few bits now that I've got to install. I've got my instructions, and I'm going to do that, and then we'll get you back on. Subscribe. Oh, check it out, guys. I put all the bits and bobs on there now. So, what you get in the box is obviously the tank, you get instructions, bullets, radio, but you do have to supply your own AA batteries. And it comes with a 7.4 volt battery and a USB charger. The main battery goes in underneath. So, this one being the promotion version, it comes with a steel gearbox, metal drive wheel and metal tracks. The one that you can buy from the link down below, that comes with plastic tracks, plastic gears and a plastic wheel here. But you can buy all these parts as an upgrade. So here on the Banggood website, here is the actual tank itself. They do many different models, different shapes, different stuff like that with some different upgrades and spare parts and stuff like that. And then here are the metal gear boxes that you can buy separately as an upgrade, the metal drive wheels and the metal tracks. All right, so I guess we're ready to test it out. So first of all, you want to turn on the radio and then turn on the switch underneath the tank. And guys, you gotta be careful you don't put your fingers in there because that is really gonna hurt. I probably wouldn't recommend this for children because yeah, uh, yeah, I might put something in there in a minute just to replicate what happened. But anyway, once that's switched on, what you wanna do is hit this little lock button on there. And this brings to life. So if we have a look at the radio, we've got a few different functions. So over here, we've got the volume of the, um, the sound effects. The sound off. And every time you press it, it gets a bit louder. I don't want it too loud, I'll just have it on minimum. Then we've got a smoke button. You can turn that off. And then on the right hand side of the controller, this is where we control the tank. So forward is forward, back is back, and left and right is left and right. And then this other side here is what controls the gun. So you've got left and right, and up and down. Now to fire it, what you have to do is, you have to hold this button here, but at the same time move this stick up as well. And I think that's kind of like a safety thing so you don't accidentally fire it. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. So it's all loaded up, by the way, to load it up, you just put the, the ball bearings in there, shut the lid and we're good to go. So what we do, we hold the shoot button and then we move this stick upwards, ready? Oh, it's actually got some power to it. Oh, there we go. Jesus, look at that. That went all the way over there, shot back and it goes there. I wonder if it hurts. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> all right, so it doesn't actually hurt that bad, but you definitely would not want it to go into your eyeball. All right, so let's give it a little drive around the workshop. And then in another video, we'll take it outside, take it through the woods and see what it can do here. Oh, all right, so it is actually fully proportional. So what that means is you can do it a little bit. So if you just move the stick a tiny little bit, it'll go slowly. And the further you move the stick, the faster it will go. That's the same with forward and back. So you can go really slow. Or you can nail it and go really fast. All oh, right, so I know what you're wondering, what happens when you put your finger in there? So this here is a pen. Uh, 
All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't break your finger, but oh, I definitely wouldn't want to get my. Oh, that's oh. No, you wouldn't want to get your fingers in there. All right, let's try a banana. You wouldn't want that to be your finger. Oh no, we're gonna have a tumble wumble. Well, I'm gonna have to catch it. Ah! All right, so first thoughts. Um, it's the first RC tank that I've ever had, so it's difficult for me to really compare it to anything, but it does seem to go over almost anything. I mean, there's not really much that can stop it. And we, we are soon, we're gonna take it outside, we're gonna give it a little outside, well, not a bash, but like maybe a little test outside in the woods. Maybe we, if there's a bit more snow again, we'll try it in the snow. So guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button so notified. I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get this thing from and the upgrades. Uh, hopefully next video, my man flu is gonna be gone and my voice is gonna be back and I can be back to my normal chill, chirpy self. All right, see you soon, bye.